What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I put a video out and there's some adjustments I'm having to make for a new opportunity that I'm getting in my personal life. Instead of working days, I uh, will be working nights. You know, that's gonna bring its own challenges and adjustments on the personal side of things. And just trying to kind of get in the headspace for this and make that adjustment, it's gonna be tough probably at the beginning, but you know what? I'm not really a social person anyway, so I do look forward to it and I'm excited about it. During this adjustment period, I've found a diamond in the rough and you may have seen some ads on social media or something for this game, but it's called Hypercharge Unboxed. You play as an action figure, your own action figure, I should say. And this is mostly based on like tower defense, you know, having multiple points that you have to defend throughout the waves and you build defenses to protect them. And the more that you defend and the more health that they have, the better the reward is and a lot of those rewards are not only medals and badges get customization options this game has a tremendous amount of customization you can select the action figure that you want to be you can select their heads their colors their weapons and their weapon colors their name and the box that they come in so when you go to the store you grab a toy and it comes in its own packaging you can select that packaging you can take screenshots you can make some fan art with these it's what you spawn in break out of the plastic Plastic. you have all the attachments if you look it turns into a store a lot of different stuff um, and I've just been having a lot of fun with this game and I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, kind of give some tips if you do give it a shot like I said there is a demo version out there that's free or you can purchase the entire game support the devs uh, there's two DLC packs as well that you can you know toss a little bit of money in and you get characters and customization options with those too so without babbling too much, I just kind of want to get into this and give you my five tips or five things that you may not know exist in this game. So that when you get your feet on the ground, your boots on the ground, you have a little bit of an advantage. Let's get into the video. The first thing I'd like to talk about is what I consider a combat reload. Like I mentioned, in this game you do get attachments, and instead of having a primary and secondary weapon, you have a single weapon that you can put different gun attachments on. So you can have a machine gun and a shotgun, but you can't shoot them at the same time. And one thing that I noticed really early on playing this game is if I have a rifle and a shotgun, or if I have a shotgun and a grenade launcher, when I run out of ammo and I have to reload, a lot of these weapons take some time to reload, which can really mess things up because you don't want these defense points to take damage. And if you're sitting there reloading, you're giving the enemy more opportunity to deal damage to these points. A way to counter this is if you have, let's say, a rifle and a shotgun, and you expend all the rounds in your machine gun and you're stuck reloading. If you have an attachment of a shotgun or a grenade launcher, you, you can switch while that rifle is reloading and shoot with that secondary weapon. See the circle finish, which means you can go ahead and reload that secondary attachment, switch back to your rifle or whatever it is your primary fire is, and continue to lay rounds into these enemies. The second thing I'd like to talk about is, yes, there are double jumps in this game, but you can also pseudo triple jump. And what I mean by that is some of the hidden areas in this game require you to jump a long distance and if you go to an edge and you jump off of that edge and then you use your double jump in the air a lot of times you're not going to have the distance to make it to those hidden spots a way to counter this is to simply sprint off of the edge gain some momentum and then use your first jump once you've descended a little bit more, you can use that second jump, that double jump, to go even further. This is going to help you reach a lot of areas where you might not otherwise been able to reach. And instead of falling all the way down to the floor, you'll be able to get on that shelf or that pipe or whatever it is that you're trying to reach. Maybe even find some bobbleheads or secret collectibles and get yourself some more customization. Another thing that you may not have known, if you've played this game a little bit, you probably already know, but if you're just getting your feet wet, black enemies, no matter what type they are, are going to explode on death, whether you kill them or they reach the objective and explode themselves. If they're at your defense points and you shoot them and you blow them up, they are going to still do a lot of damage and this can make things get a little bit crazier than they have to be because normally these enemies are just going to sit there and they're going to they're going to attack your defense points but when you add in that extra explosion from them dying, that's going to break down walls and then enemies are just going to flood into that one spot. But there is a way to counter this. There are some weapons in this game that are mostly elementals. We're talking about the ice charger or 
the flamethrower, which are doing some sort of elemental type, whether it's fire or ice, but essentially what they're doing is melting these enemies down or freezing them and breaking them apart. And these are really, really good, especially if you can control one or two points from a vantage point, you can really control the fight and limit the amount of black enemies for your other teammates to deal with and protect your defenses even more. And there's a couple of defenses that you can build that also act the same way. For instance, the cremators. A good way to use these cremators is to build a wall of Legos and then in front of them put the cremators. The enemies are going to focus on tearing down those walls while they're standing inside the cremator. And if you get a lot of kamikaze enemies that are trying to destroy those walls, they're just going to die by those cremators and they're not going to explode. So this will increase the longevity of those walls even if they are getting attacked. It's going to kill the enemies and it's going to preserve their strength. The next thing that you may not have known, and I know that we didn't know this when we first started playing, more bots equals more problems. If let's say you only have you and a buddy that are playing and you spawn in two bots to help you fill out the four man squad, the more teammates that you have, the more enemies that are going to spawn. So this might seem like a good idea because you have these bots on your team to help but these AIs aren't always going to do what you expect them to you may want to think about cutting down on the bots and just having it be you and a buddy and I almost guarantee you you're going to have a much easier time with some of these levels some of them some of the bigger ones are still going to be tough because there's so much space to cover but you'll have less enemies overall to worry about. You'll be able to control things a lot easier. Another thing that you might not know about are battery chargers. And these aren't given to you right at the start of the game, but they are given to you once you beat a level on expert or above. You don't have to preserve all the defense points, you just have to beat the level. And battery chargers are super important because between rounds you can take those batteries that have that have been charging the shields of your defense points, empowering your sentries and your rocket launchers. You can put them inside these battery chargers between rounds. Focus on gathering all the buildables that you can, and then before the next round starts, go grab that battery out of that charger, put it back in your defense point, and you'll see the battery charge is completely full again. A lot of times they're pretty easy to find, but if you start to struggle, just look for some power outlets in the walls and then follow those electrical cables. They'll always be white and they'll always look like this. And just for a little added bonus, a little incentive, especially if you're one of those that want some of the customization options, there's a really easy way outside of, you know, getting a certain metal or finding a certain amount of bobbleheads or collectibles. If you go to the main menu, and just come down here to extras and go to the credits and watch the credits you know appreciate these devs it's only five people that are responsible for this game there's a lot of pictures and stuff to kind of just get to know these devs but at the end of this you will get a customization option i'm not going to spoil it but i promise you it's there so i appreciate you guys watching this video i hope you at least try the demo if you have a pc this isn't like a super strenuous PC game. I'm sure these guys would appreciate it. I'll leave the hypercharge discord down in the description below if you want to come and join and just tell them Echo sent you, man. I appreciate y'all. I'll have a couple more videos coming up in the for now. It's Sayonara. I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.